All right, we're gonna go to this mystical house over here in this mystical cave. That's a now now it looks a lot better here, but I remember when I played this for the first time, it was on a dark TV and a uh, <laughs> I and again on the PS2, and I remember this place was so hard to see. Um, just anything, like even the house, the platforms, the water, it was so dark. I was like, where am I going? What am I doing with my life? But uh, here, thankfully, at least in the TV we're playing and uh, the fact that it is HD now. And you're breaking um, into someone's house. Uh, it, we, we can cl see clearly what's going on. Um, this house looks pretty abandoned, though. I don't know if, uh, if anyone's going to mind if we go ahead and enter <laughs> this room. I hope no one minds. Yeah, it looks pretty abandoned to me. There's something about this musty place. Oh my gosh, it's not abandoned. Kyrie, ghosts live here! Ghosts live here! Kyrie's dead. It's a ghost! It's a ghost! It's back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? See, I, I do believe that Kyrie is genuinely talking to Sora there. You know, just, just communicating through while being in his heart. But I... Because her description is very specific to that location, you know? It's not like some random line of dialogue she could have said about anywhere else. Um, He's like, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> this is breaking and entering. I am calling the police. I don't know. He No, he said he knew that we were coming. So it's, you know, it's all good. Exactly. He's like, I knew you were coming. The police were already here. Oh, no. He, he seems pretty calm. I mean, look, you know, he, he he's pretty good. He's, uh... Oh, look, Mickey told him. That's what it was, you know? Yeah. yeah. He's King Mickey Man. He knows everything, except for helping you. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I wonder if King Mickey just... Maybe, maybe the camera that's controlling the video game, like the camera that we control as the player, maybe Mickey can see that camera on a TV so screen. So you're saying it's one of those, like... Like uh, the camera is actually canon. It's like Super Mario 64. Yeah, that's, that's what actually, I was about to get to. Yeah. It's like the little turtle man on the cloud. Yeah, so the, the camera is actually a real thing, and that's how Mickey's seeing us. He, he knew that we were coming to Merlin's house and told him. <laughs> wow, Merlin, you, uh, you clean up pretty nicely. <laughs> Except for those pile of books. I mean, that's pretty unorganized, but uh, hey, whatever. All right, so here we are. We got Yuffie over here. Now, now Leon is probably in the underground ca to cavern, you know? And uh, that, uh, it's a pretty mysterious place. It's it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. The way you get to there. So we're gonna go to the second district. You like use the Trinity to get like through the Oh, what the? I have never... I have what? What? The alleyway. This is how you get to the area. I, th I don't remember that at all being the door to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope no one cares. <laughs> there we go. Power of vandalism. And then you just find Squall, and he's like, Dude, you just could have came this way. You didn't have to, you know, break our sewer system. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I went to Merlin's house first was because when you talk to Merlin... There is an underground cavern, and here it leads to Merlin's, but I forgot that you actually can't go directly from Merlin's house to this place. You actually can only go from this place to Merlin's house. Um, I mean, you can go down here once you've gotten to Merlin's house, but like it's, or once you've gotten here, but you have to go here first, um, which is a little interesting. Um, but here we have them training, and uh, we're going to go ahead and have a chat with them. So we're, we're talking about the, uh, the oh. keyholes that we've been fighting. Uh, finding in the uh, the different worlds, and uh, it's 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 basically some exposition time. Mm -hmm. Oh, you finally get the first Ansem report. Yeah, we've we've been getting the Ansem reports. When? When we've been beating the worlds. I don't remember those at all. It's because you're not paying attention when you play. I just, remember, I just remember the world's over and you move on. That's good. Uh. Or maybe when I, every time I'm playing, I'm just spamming X to move on. You are. <laughs> I mean, that is what you're doing. <laughs> so you got no one to blame but yourself, man. I mean, you know, I, I can blame lots of things. Global warming, the climate... Tumblr. I mean, all these are good excuses to why I, I, I'm not paying attention to me getting Ansem reports. I mean, we got Earthshine, mm -hmm. where you can summon Dumbo. 
and <laughs> that's the worst summon. No, definitely not Dumbo. The worst summon in this game is Bambi, dude. No, Bambi has his uses. Tinkerbell is the best summon. Yes, it never goes away, and it heals you constantly. No, it goes away, but it just takes After forever a very to do long so. time. Yeah, they just summon immediately back. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna talk to Sid here. And uh, so you can see here, we're, we're going to show him the gummy block, and that's the, the gummy cool. block that... Uh, you have Tarzan, right? Yeah. hey -o. See, I am learning, okay? Uh, okay, this. okay, good, good. See, I, I, I am a Kingdom Hearts master. Now, ask me any question about Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I'll blow your mind. Oh, good grief. I'm not going to. <laughs> Actually, here's a quick story. Me and Skylar went to Phoenix Comic Con last year, and there was a Kingdom Hearts like trivia panel. And I actually it's not even a Kingdom Hearts panel; it was just a trivia show. But one no, it was of, a, it was an anime trivia. Yeah, it was anime Jeopardy. Yeah, and it, one of the subcategories was just Kingdom Hearts in general. Um, oh gosh, and <laughs> no, it was just they were asking a bunch of questions. So one of the questions that killed me was because they're like, um. Who is the the Keyblade Master that you uh, that you control? That, that who is the only Keyblade Master that you that is playable in the Kingdom Hearts series? And I said, well, I'm pretty sure the answer you're fishing for is Aqua, but technically Riku counts as well because he does become a Keyblade Master and everything. And he's like, it's, it's not Riku at all. It's it's just Aqua. Um, and uh, <laughs> and then there was another question where. Um, they asked, uh, oh, who is the final boss in Kingdom Hearts 2? And someone said Xemnas, and then they said, wrong. It's it's not Xemnas, and it's like, and uh, luckily the crowd called him out for it, for uh, the like, host for wrong. it. You're wrong. He's like, oh yeah, and I he's am like, wrong. Uh, oh, well, uh, what was what was his true name? Um, and then uh, Ryan actually answers the question. He says Ansem, and then he says, wrong. I'm talking about his true name, but it's like, and he was fishing for Xehanort, because that's the answer they wrote. But I was going off of, because in Kingdom Hearts, was it? Uh, Two. Well, yeah, no, in Kingdom Hearts, uh, how? Wh which one explains the whole X thing? Kingdom Hearts 2. Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, they added a cutscene. Yeah, but like, yeah, Kingdom well, Hearts Well, no, it was always explained from the beginning, but anyway. Yeah, but all the names of X added to them. So I'm like, okay, well, Xemnas' original form, I'm like, okay, Ansem, yeah, I say it's, that. Yeah, it's based off of Ansem. And man. the guy's like, wrong! And I'm like, fine, I'm, no! And they, well, and he was like, it's Xehanort. And I'm like, I guess you're right, but not really. <laughs> I mean, it's the true, true name if you want to get down to it, but it's not what he based Xemnas' name off of. Um... Regardless, the guy was acting like a total know-it-all when it came to Kingdom Hearts. And actually, like when we would raise our hands after that, he never once called on us he again. Didn't even look at our direction. Like, oh yeah, no, he was totally avoiding us. He's like, oh, I'm not going to deal with these. Fa but no, you you said you went to a Final Fantasy panel that was also hosted by him. The the panel before. Tell tell them what you told me. Well, because when I when I heard this when I heard this context, so I was floored with how much they were giving us a hard time about this our. This happened answers. earlier in the day. But um, me and one of my friends walk in, and they're doing a Final Fantasy panel, and they're like, "What?" what? And then one of the people asks, "What's your experience of Kingdom Hearts?" And they're like, "Oh, you know, we played like the first one and Birth by Sleep, and that's kind of it. We have really, we played we focus more on Final Fantasy. So if you guys can more uh, focus your questions towards that, we'll we'll be fine with that." And I'm just like, "Oh." So like they barely know Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> and it's like you know, oh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna call people out. On their knowledge, and we've only played two games of it. Yeah, like, good grief, man. Just imagine when Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to come out. Like, oh, I guarantee you people are going to, the, the biggest, the most common complaint Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to get is people are going to be like, I don't understand what's going on. Why did Square write it like this? It's like, well, you know, if uh, it's because it's, it's you only played uh, two out of the seven games. <laughs> there's, there's five others? Yeah. No, uh, I want to say four others. No, there's there's five others. I know, but recoded, I don't really count as one. Why not? Because you only really well, run even one even thing. if well, even if you don't count recoded, you got Chain of Memories, you got Days, Birth by Sleep, and Dream Drop Distance, and then uh, two about, point zero point two. That would be five if you're going to count that. What about, the, that's, what about the Verizon mobile game? 
Um, what about the, the other uh, mobile game? Oh, like the pre Kingdom Hearts One mobile game? Yeah, let's not. That, that, that's <laughs> definitely not canon. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go talk to Merlin, and we're gonna give him. Yes. The, uh, we're gonna give him the book that Sid gave us. It's a, uh, it's it's a very important book, and uh, Merlin doesn't even know what it is himself. He 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 was just like, oh, it it just came into my bag one day. <laughs> someone threw it in there. Probably yeah. someone trying to avoid a book fee. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that way you have to pay for the book fee. Oh. You better put it right there, Skyler. And now you see, we also got the stone here. And, uh, you know, here the fairy godmother's gonna look at the stone. And he's like, oh my gosh, that's a living animal. And, Trapped uh, in a. Wait, he's basically a glorified Pokemon. Uh, uh, I guess. I mean, you <laughs> could look at it that way. <laughs> Go, Simba! Roar goes away. <laughs> Man, you suck, Simba. I'm never using you. Yep, so we're now gaining the ability to summon allies, and uh, of course the first one we get is Simba. And, uh, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Sheesh. I mean, I don't remember using Simba all that much in my playthroughs. No, I used, I used Simba a little bit at first, but he's not... I love his summon technique. I love it. It was like, do, 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 like just these crazy, like, sword moves, and then throws in the sky, and they this giant, like, summoning thing go on. Oh, the summoning sequence. I, I love the okay. summoning. Yeah, the summoning yeah. sequence is pretty cool, but like uh, his actual attack, I really hate because. Well, you have to charge. You gotta it charge. And you're then... standing there like an idiot, and then it actually happens, and you're like, "Oh, okay." It's it's cool for like when you're attacking multiple enemies, but I wouldn't recommend using him against boss fights at all. You should you should try him out. Bring bring out that bad boy. Oh, we'll go ahead and try, but first we got a we got a cutscene here. Oh, there's some heartless. Let's go ahead and summon Simba. Oh, that's not going to be necessary. Oh there yeah. You are. What's going on? Uh, Riku. Riku. Oh. Oh, that's hey, hey, that's hey, assault. Oh. <laughs> I'm not dreaming this time. Right? Yes, my pants within pants are perfectly real. <laughs> Just that smirk going on. You're like. Yeah, you know what's going on. Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island, too. <laughs> yeah, sure she R did. R yeah, Riku's oh, pretty optimistic R here, you know? <laughs> she might even be looking for us now. Oh, dang. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... Dang. Leave it to who? Dang, oh. son. Oh. Sora, uh, what did you... I did something you can't I fight. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> What's it? Uh, at all. Riku sucks at fighting. He has to have... He has to become possessed by other things to become good. That's, that's still not true. <laughs> he, was Listen, a, he was a good God fighter in the island. I need to show you my skills in defeating bosses to show you what's up. Uh, listen here, man. Listen, it's... Uh... So this is called a keyblade. Dang. Hey, hey, man, that ain't cool, man. You're hey. you're just you're just touching that with no permission. I, whoa, come on, man. That ain't cool, Riku. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, Riku's like, hey, my weapon's better. So Mine cool. is black and red and looks like a fin. Yeah, it's it's got it, it's got sharp edges all over it. So it's, yours it's, does. Yeah. yeah. That means he's edgy. I always thought Donald was a really big jerk here when seeing this cutscene. It's like Riku's edgy, Sora's dull, uh, Donald's a stickler, and 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 uh, Goofy is a blockhead because he blocks attacks. There you go. That's 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 a good allegory on all of them. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon too. And Kyrie has no weapon because she has no personality. <laughs> well, that's not true. <laughs> I th that, that you realize that you know the name that you're really thinking of is called Shion, right? I mean, uh, just saying. Who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you mean Sora, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> kind joke of. Joke within a joke. <laughs> See that one Kingdom Hearts whoa. fan? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Man. Oh heck no! What did you do with Sid? He is Sid. No, <laughs> I don't buy it. 
I don't buy it. What did you do to Sid? It's like you go what to the next room and there's there's that same guy wielding the gun blade just swatting in the air. He's like, oh, hey, so it's me, Leon. You're like, no. No! <laughs> and then... <laughs> This guy walks up, he's like, hi, I'm Aerith. What? <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a disease. They're all turning into that guy. Oh, they're all turning into that guy. Yeah. I see. It's a, it's a plague. Yeah.